We got something new in the mail today, floppy catters. What's this one? What's this one? This one comes from the folks that make the black hole cat litter mats. The name of the company is Moon Shuttle. And this is a new product they've launched, which is a robot fish. There's a four piece pack. <laughs> I've been telling them that we were gonna unbox this. They sent us three boxes of them, so I'll probably give a box to Amy to try out with her cats. I don't think I'll give one to my mom because previously when I've tried robotic fish with my parents' cats, they haven't been game, but my cats really like them. So there's the black hole litter mat logo. And these are the fish. Let me see if the other ones have the same fish. Oh, they, oh yeah, they vary a little bit. Super cute. I like this one. So I'll probably open up this pack. Looks like it comes with a little screwdriver and some batteries. So I'm going to have to figure out. Oh, there's already batteries in them. So years ago, uh, my friend Michael in Australia got one of these robotic fish and put it in his outdoor fountain pond type of thing but the pond didn't have any fish in it for his cat Valentino to go after and that encouraged me to go looking for robotic fish and so we have experienced robotic fish in the past but just not recently I haven't played with them so they're usually water activated as soon as you drop them in water they start swimming around so I will go ahead and do that in this video it's this is more of a fun cat toy, especially if you have, you know, an outdoor garden or something like that where you can drop them into. I'll probably just fill up water in my sink and then use that water after the cats have played with it to clean off my oven pieces. I have a gas stove, so not my oven, but my gas stove has pieces and parts that you can take off to get the grime and build up on. So that way I won't waste the water that I use to fill up the sink to drop the robo fish in. Here's the fourth box with Chiggy's whiskers. So you can tell they vary a little bit. Like this fish and that fish are the same. And then this one and that one are the same. <laughs> so I'll probably pick this one, I think. And then it's got directions or description on the front of the box. It's not for children, it's for cats and dogs only, batteries included, and will last approximately 30 minutes to maximize battery life. Avoid using it continuously. Automatically moves in response to water. If the toy does not stop automatically, then you can remove it from the, um, from the water and use the after. Man, <laughs> if it doesn't stop after you remove it from the water, my experience is you just dry it off and it will stop, but it's telling you you can use this little tool, which is a little screwdriver with a Phillips head. And then it just gives you the components made in China. I don't think there are any other, no, no other instructions. All right, let's go play. All right, my cats are gonna come pretty quickly. Actually, I'll angle it this way. My kitchen's a little bit of a mess because I've been out of town, but here we go, I'm gonna drop all four in at once. Oh, and they have LED lights too, by the way. Yep. <laughs> so like I said, we've had we had robot robotic fish in the past, but these <laughs> have the lights, which is really cool. You think will we? You gonna dive? Make them dive. This is actually kind of cold water, so I wonder if they react differently in cold or um, hot water. <laughs> so it's just something fun, you know, something different for your cats, especially. I always think of indoor cats not having as much stimulation as an outdoor cat does. Oh, Chiggy. You can come up. Come on, come see. 
Shiggy never comes up on the counter. Charlie, as you saw, never hesitates. We're thinking. Are they moving? Where are they going? My cats haven't had any interaction with real fish. When I was a little girl, my cat rags, we had fish. I got a fish tank at one point in my childhood. And um, so he had little interaction, but my cats have never had exposure to fish. So I just put it on the counter and see what happens. The only thing when we reviewed a different kind of brand of these earlier, that was something that you, this is definitely under supervision that you would want to play with these with your cats is I think the tail, yes, the tail comes off. So, and cats aren't able to spit anything out. It's one of the big differences between humans and cats. They can pull it out with their paws, but they can't like spit it out. So. You just want to make sure that if, like, right there, <laughs> if he were to pull off that tail, then we'd have an emergency surgery on our hands if he were to swallow it. So just make sure that that doesn't happen while you're playing with him. I can watch cats play all day. Okay, so to make them stop, they obviously are water activated. So my experience has been, you just dry them off, they stop. So I always dry off these robot fish on like a terry cloth towel. Now a lot of people do different things. You could even maybe put, the, put one in your cat's water fountain to see what would happen. You can put it in a bucket of water if you don't want them on your counter, you know, in the kitchen. You can obviously use a different sink. Maybe one in your bathroom if you're okay with them in, on the counter in the bathroom. But a bucket of water is pretty traditional. And the, <laughs> there is a curiosity in me that if you already have like a, a goldfish pond or something like that, you could always stick one in and see what your goldfish do. But that was a, I mean, I don't know if that's safe or if that's okay for the goldfish. So that's up to your discretion. But I know if I had one, I'd give it a go. Look at his paw. I do think it's pretty cool that they give you some extra batteries and the way, and the tool to replace them with so that you can obviously extend the life of the robot fish and these kind of batteries usually are on the more expensive side of things, so it's nice to have the replacements before you have to go to like CVS and buy some replacements. All right, guys. Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in our final product review of these RoboFish. I'll include a link to where you can buy the Black Hole Cat Litter Mat Robot Fish in the About section below. Let me know if you have any questions or anything you want me to address um, while we're reviewing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs> See if I can get him to do it with every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs>